The National Guard has a mission most folks don't know about, giving high school dropouts second chances. 80% of those who attend the Guard's Youth Challenge Academies go on to college or a job. Michelle Miller checked out an academy near Los Angeles. Let's go! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Hurry up! Get up out of your bus! Let's go! Get up! This 4 a.m. wake-up call is like none these teenagers have ever heard. Why are you just standing around? It's called shark attack. You better hurry up! Let's go! Moving around! Go in the line! Go in the line! Day one for these 16 to 18 year old high school dropouts. Today is going to be a long day. It's designed to set the tone, establish structure. Keep pushing, explode all that anger out of you right now, cadets. And let these rebellious teens know who's in charge. You don't listen to authority. That's why you're here. Jumping jacks, go! Angel Kayla Master, Jeremy Caesar, Krista Hopkins, Adjake Stewart, and 212 other students in this class have abused drugs, joined gangs, and are desperate for help. If you listen to their stories, you may understand why. Make it happen! Me and my mom were homeless pretty much, sleeping in cars, underneath freeways, in hotels. I was always on my own, couch hopping my entire teenage life. It caused me to drop out. I feel like the day I turned 13, I decided to become a careless teenager. And the day I turned 14, I became a delinquent. I got into seven fights my freshman year and then three fights my sophomore year. And I was like on the thin line of being arrested and expelled at the same time. When someone tells you something so many times, you start to believe it. They always say that like sticks and stones don't break your bones, but words will never hurt you. It's so not true. Words hurt more than anything, especially as by someone you love. I want to make my dad proud. He hasn't been in my life. It sounds backwards, but I want to make him proud of the young lady he never took the time to learn. All right, this is your paper, so you need to be responsible for it. Mom doesn't hold it anymore, OK? Their last chance at a second chance began in July, dropped off by parents or guardians, sometimes a friend or neighbor. Each of them has volunteered to be here. <laughs> Saying goodbye wasn't easy for 16-year-old Francisco Lazo's mother, Cynthia. Oh, it breaks my heart, but it's for the best. I'm sure he'll come out a different person. I mean, he's a great kid. He just needs help. It was really tough. It's hard to say goodbye. I didn't really see it as a sad goodbye. I saw it more as a good goodbye. Like, there were tears of joy. Next candidate, what's your last name? Yes. They are split up into platoons, two male, two female. All you got to do is what? Breathe, Sergeant, breathe! That's it. All you got to do is breathe. We are going to think for you. For the next five and a half months, they will be told when to eat, sleep, and go to school. No access to social media, television, or contact with the outside world. We will make you faster. Let's go pick those knees up. We will make you stronger. You have not reached your limit yet. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing, cadet. Get up. Get up. We will make you healthier and wiser than you have ever been in your lives. If you're going to do something, how are you going to do it? The right way or the wrong way? The right way, sergeant. There you go. We will help you earn the credits you need to succeed and graduate from high school. Most importantly, we will give you the skills necessary to go out there and get a job so that you can take care of yourselves. Yes, this is hardcore. If I could do this, then I can leave here and I can get what I need to get done. That's going to be the most amazing feeling, knowing that I can actually do this. Even though Sunburst is one of the most successful youth challenge academies in the country, it's estimated that 15 of these kids who started won't make it. And there are some big tests ahead. We'll be reporting on which students tough it out and, Scott, which ones make it to graduation in mid-December. Amazing kids. Michelle, thank you very much. You can follow their progress as well on our website. We'll have more information about them at CBSNews.com.